Jack Leach. An average of 9.33 is not in the team for his batting. But right now, there's a specific purpose for him to fulfill, and that is to see out this over and hopefully be not out overnight to try and blunt the new ball and have Tim Murta for quite a few overs for not much gain. Play and a miss. Shot, they won't be running, that is for certain. A good solid block from Jack Leach and a good solid day for Irish cricket. That's gone through him, keep it low. Jack Leach has got a job to do here. I'm, it's a surprise. It, it's a team decision that they'd send a night watchman in. And you'd always get a reaction from the people outside of the team. Do they need an opening batsman? Do you have a night watchman for one over? I think if Leach sticks around, it'll work really well in favour of England. If he keeps murder out, that first spell out is blunted most of the danger. They give Jason Roy the opportunity of coming and batting against bowlers who have slightly less skill than Murta. A little bit more pace, a flatter wicket. Squeezes it through down to third man Jack Leach and brings a boundary. England is six without loss. That's good. That's a great line. Look at the pace. Squeezed again, just for a couple. Hey. Oh, buzzers. Swing, no, no ball. Swinging the other way. Oh, well bowled. Swinging York gets it in there. 18 without loss. I think Boyd Rankin is going to come into the attack. He's the quickest and the tallest of the bowlers. Yep. Cut away. Cut away nicely. Another short ball from Rankin. Jack Leach up off the ground, both feet off the ground, over the ball nicely. It's a lovely shot from Leach down the ground. That will go away for four. His third boundary. Excellent shot. Jack Leach playing it late. Full delivery from Mark Adair. We saw this yesterday. Joe Denley driving Adair through the offside a number of occasions, but he kept the ball up to the bat and was rewarded for his patience. Not 
nice punch. That won't be four. That was just stroked. Leach wants three. He'll get it comfortably. Another good shot from Leach. Again, he should come back for three. He does. May even trickle away for four. It does. Pull again from Rankin. On the up, through the offside. Jason Roy at the other end was impressed with that. Excellent batting. Yeah, Somerset fans will tell you over the years he scored some useful runs down the order. Jack Leach, he's had a quiet time this season. He hasn't got double figures in first-class cricket. He has now, and more. His hip, four more. 50 up for England, 53 for one. Leach has 37 of the 53. I need to get a lid on this. 27 runs in the last 10 balls. Pitch is getting better. Well played as well. Great opportunity for him. Lord's Test match, sun's out. 37 not out, go for it. And he wants a strike as well. Leave it to me, Jace. Yeah, again, runs, again, a couple. And for the big occasion with the bat. Good length, excellent length, good comeback over from Murta. Oh, through him, through him, and a good take as well from Wilson. That nip back in on the angle. That's uh, not time, but again, found the gap at extra cover this time. Good length, good line, good ball. It's not a player miss, that's a, a late leave. Whipped away. Makes up another one. Well played in the end. It's bounced a bit. That's a good shot. Mid-off was pretty straight, to be honest. So not a big gap between bowler stumps and mid-off, but he found the gap very nicely indeed. Good-looking shot. Very good-looking shot. Ooh, well bowled. Well, there's the edge, it's wide of second slip, it's going to run away for four. Maybe not quite the stroke he envisaged, but nonetheless, a moment of huge satisfaction for Jack Leach. 51, able to raise his back to this Lord's crowd and to the dressing room. Selectors approve. Well, they picked up his bowling first, to be fair. 
Oh dear. Now to settle down, dear. Conditions dramatically changed, though. This pitch has changed in characteristics out of sight from yesterday. Yeah, I saw Trevor Bayliss this morning, and, and he came up, and Trevor Bayliss says this is the best day for batting in this test match. It hasn't seemed that much. It swung a bit early on. It did swing around. What a shot, shot. that is. Lifted away over wide mid-wicket. <laughs> it's all smiles in the England dressing room. Leach has got eyes on a hundred and bragging rights over Marcus Triscothic, his mate from down in Taunton. Yeah, he hasn't looked like an eye watchman, no. let's put it that way. Field remains the same. Leach sent in to just see things through to stumps, so he's going to see it through to lunch at this rate. Nice, Brad. Try and gather it cleanly and get it to Butler. Bowling, bowling, Andy. Nice, Andy. Nice, Andy. Ooh. Our director hated that. <laughs> <laughs> Just in case there was a wicket. <laughs> Nicely tucked away off his hip. Triscothic esque from Leach. Roy wanted two. Leach sent him back. family a dynasty you know uh, Andy's dad junior played for Ireland his brother James played for Ireland so just trailing by seven it swung late and Leach did well to nudge it round to fine leg and he's got three slips for this last over before lunch Uh, the one that went the other way and Leach watched it carefully go by the off stump and will walk into lunch having done his job and more there was back there it wasn't that far away from Gary Wilson went away very quickly off that bat no chance for Wilson at all Solid from Jack Leach. Oh, just past. Leg slips right hand. NASA wanted him a yard or two squarer. It went a yard or two square. It wasn't far away from Mark Adair. Still taking some catching, that is for certain. A bit of bowling again. Runs, and I think four of them as it runs away down the slope. Fielder won't catch it up. has never been a night watchman get a hundred for England in a test match. It's a better height, he's got to try and get it up. Oh, he's down, he's down. Oh, no. Gary Wilson moving away to his left. He made the ground and it wasn't that difficult once he got there. Maybe the heat is having its effect and down it's gone. Leach survives. Ooh. Might have been a bit of bat on that as well. 72 not out. 
Carves that away over backward point. You can see Rankin's plans with the field set. He's going to try and rough him up. He nearly got him before the drinks break. And that's a good shot from Leach. Good running. Leach has been impressive in everything he's done with the bat today. Chipped over the big man. If anyone was going to be able to get it, it would have been Boyd Rankin. Leach got just enough elevation. Just chips it over the big one. Strongly in behind that. That's a gorgeous shot. That's the shot of a top order left hander. Give over. What a lovely shot. Eager to get out on that front foot, Jack Leach. Doesn't get through. Nicely played. Watchful from Leach. Oh, it gets through, and that's going to run down the hill. Jack Leach moves to 89. England's lead goes past 50. Squeezes this through extra cover. Parried by the field at just a finger end. 16 fours for Jack Leach, 89. 175 for two from 42. Uh, as hint of maybe weariness. But umpires don't necessarily spot them when they're in that sort of range. We've seen a few overlooked in recent years. All down. Sharp chance, but nonetheless a palpable chance. Yeah, he's never really got the hands quite in the right position. A desperate scoop at the last moment. It has gone quite quickly, and they are relatively close. And again. The edge this time safely taken. Tim Murta gets his reward. Dreams of a Test Match 100 suddenly evaporate as uh, Jack Leach finally has to go. Head down for now for Jack Leach, and yes, he will have plenty of time to mull over the possibilities having got so close. But again, the edge, comfortable height, and this time comfortably taken.